Governor of Plateau State, Simon Lalong, says the APC Muslim Muslim ticket is a party affair and has nothing to do with religion. Governor Lalong, who is also the Director General, DG of the All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Organization, is not ready to give up the position. The governor spoke on Wednesday with newsmen at State House Abuja after a closed door meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari. Kende Amodu reports. As the political race gathers steam ahead of the 2023 elections, some decisions by political players have taken the electorate completely by surprise. For instance, no one believed that given the charged atmosphere, any politician would attempt a same faith ticket for the presidency. It is happening, and despite the huge opposition to it, the ruling All Progressives Congress seems determined to ride out the storm. When it comes to politics, it's a matter of choice, matter of interest. In every political party, you have Christians and you have Muslims. In every political party, there's opportunity for you to vote for a Christian or to vote for a Muslim. If you don't want a Muslim, you wait until the electoral day, you go and vote, it be your choice. If you don't want a Christian, you go there and go and vote. Governor Lalong has choice words for those alleging that he lobbied to become the running mate of the APC presidential candidate. People said because I was denied VP, I said I did not, I did not lobby for VP. Yes, many people were lobbying and writing on my behalf, but what I wanted to be and I still stand for now. I obtained form for Senate. I won. I have my senatorial ticket that I'm waiting for. So if at any time some people who wanted to be VT lost out and they are using religion, they should not use me to help them. Equally controversial is the rebuilding of the just central market, which has been subsumed by religious undertones. We brought developers and James Bank is funding them. They build the market and the market will be given to Plateau State to be shared, to be distributed to those who will want to buy the market. And then a National Assembly member who has not contributed anything to the state. The only thing he wants to contribute to get reelected is to go and start spreading false allegations that the market, I had sold the market for 40 years to J.S. Bank. It's not possible. The 40 years is for the shop owners. That is those uh, off-takers who are going to buy the little civil servants or the poor people that will borrow money from the bank to come and buy shop. Proponents of secularity argue that religion should be separated from state and leadership should emerge based on competence rather than affiliation. It is an argument that has been advanced, but does not Thank seem to be much. catching on, and, uh, which means Governor Lalong, as DG of the campaign, has a huge task on his hands. From State House Abuja, Kendia Mudu, Trust TV News.